Hello, hello, hello. Today we learn about the letter B. B like Bastion, the barbarian. And he is, of course, a human because humans are stronger than orcs and smarter. And he is male and chaotic. Alright. So I choose the chaotic barbarian because he can get one of the best. Um, two-handed swords and axes for him, which is called Stormbringer. And not the axe. The axe is <laughs> something <laughs> entirely else. But you want to go for the axe first and then you go for Stormbringer. So what we're training now is the battle axe. And I don't think I will ever use the short sword other than for throwing. And we also have an uh, uncursed ring mail, uncursed food ration and an uncursed oil lamp. We are plunderer, strength 17, dexterity 18, intelligence 7, wisdom 8, charisma 7, armor class 7. So the only thing that sucks at the ba with the barbarian is the armor class 7. Everything else is quite good and you m never really need wisdom or intelligence because that's just not your jam. So as a barbarian we also start with a pet like with every character and we name the cat something with B. We name him Blasius. Blasius the cat. Uh, so I need to put out my steam sound. Otherwise you will hear the binging every time. So okay let's start. Dungeon levels of doom. And we roll. You hear a door open. So um, there aren't many monsters that can open doors. So you should be very, uh, be, be very, very, be very, 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 be aware <laughs> when something like this happens, because normally uh, everything that can open doors is also humanoid, and most humanoids are stronger than the. Mo monsters. And of course you can't just close the door. Doors behind you. To leave them behind. And you can't just close the doors behind you because they will come through. So you'll need at least a key to open them. Uh, to close them. Okay, kill two jackals and the newt. Let my cat eat some. You don't really need a pet. As a barbarian, the only means to use a cat is for BUC status identification. But for everything else, you can do on your own. Oh, by the way, I need to turn out to pick up off and show XP on. The music I'm playing with the Barbarian is the Diablo 1 OST, because it's rather fitting. Oh, this is a long hallway, and I can't move it from here. No. I'm searching for a door, but I don't think I will be able to find one. Okay, let's go back. So, with the Barbarian, uh, what you want to do is you want to get as much strength as possible. So nothing would move after you hit it. That's the way to play it. Okay, I found the downstairs case. Dungeon levels of Doom 2. Looks like we found a dead end again. So somewhere around here, yeah, we don't need that door. Somewhere around here has to be a door or a hallway. A goblin and a yellow stem. So, opposed to the archaeologist, um, those gems are, don't mean nothing to us until we have reliable identification or a, uncurs, uh, or a blessed touchstone. Because right now, we can't even find out what it is. Okay, let's loot this thing. It seems to be locked. Force it. Loot it. Oh, it's an egg. You can give eggs to your animals. 
and sometimes with a bit of luck um, you are able to breed your own pet when you carry an egg around or if you char sit on it so now I sit on the floor <laughs> chaotic altar oh I'm really lucky on altars lately so normally I won't find an altar before mine town and even then it's mostly not my alignment alignment I mean of course here or the fountain oh by the way these fountains um, you can drink from the fountains with Q don't do that only drink from fountains if you are really high level and you know what fountains are doing I think I will do um, that in an uh, uh, episode when I have a high level character oh, gold corpse let's offer it char O for offering K Sacrifice is consumed in a burst of flame. Because bad things can happen if you drink from a fountain. And I um, they could the water demon could appear. Snakes could burst out. Uh, that kind of stuff. You really want to avoid that. So see we are already experience level 2 let's try to find a hallway here no, we can't okay let's see I really would like to get a wand of monsters because uh, it's crucial for the barbarian to offer as soon as possible so you will get your first artificial weapon Artifact weapon. Artificial weapon is something else entirely, I think. So, if you are new to the series and you just want to watch The Barbarian, uh, basically what I'm doing here is I am playing through the roles from A to W, uh, like from archaeologist to the wizard, and I'm trying to explain the uh, main advantages and disadvantages of the different characters. And how you should play them, like what is the meta for them, what you what you should go for, because most new NetHack players don't have a clue what's going on, and they are not to blame. I played this game for years and years when it was just ASCII code, and I played more when it had the tile set NetHack W. By the way, you can download NetHack for free on NetHack. Just Google NetHack, basically. Oh, I hit a gas pour. That wasn't smart. I lost half my health, but at least I'm never experienced three now. So, but still, I might want to take it a bit slower. Uh, a dwarfish metal. Can I carry this around? Yeah, I can carry it around. Okay, I will carry it around. You're beginning to feel hungry. So, uh, one of the biggest advantages of the barbarian is that he has basic poison resistance so you can eat uh, most corpses without fear of being poisoned at least not natural poisoning food poisoning is still a thing but you can eat uh, most stuff and you won't feel bad after you ate rotten food so much like other characters oh nice I found uh, Armor dealer. Akala Taki is used armor dealership. Oh, we either want the chain mail or the splint mail. Other one has just leather jackets, leather armor, studded laser armor, studded, not studded. And a pair of fencing gloves, which are most likely uh, cursed. A small shield, I don't need that because I have a 200 weapon. Piece of clothes, okay, I want, I want to try that one on. Okay, let's drop our metarch because we don't need it right now. This, by the way, is just a, your basic pickaxe. Um, the reason why I'm taking it with me is because I can dig through walls with it. So if I don't find a way on the first try, I can just try to dig through. Oh, too bad, it just has this armor. I hope there will, will be more. Um, 75. 
Zorgmates. So this is most definitely magic. But I don't know if it's a good or not. Piece of clothes. Oh, also 75. And I will take this one with me because um, there's, uh, there's less chance that a cloak will be cursed. Okay, let's go back to the altar to check its POC status because I don't want to put on a cursed rope. Oh, by the way, um, your charisma is deciding how much something will cost. Uh, but it goes up in steps. So, in uh, early game, you won't even recognize it, that much. We are here, another zombie. Oh, that's too bad. Of course, you can't offer zombies. Okay, let's drop stuff. Plague potion, the scroll, the egg, food ration, trade ration, and a piece of clothes, and the metal, of course. Alright. Yeah, it's okay, this was cursed. So, this was a bad decision to buy. I guess I will leave the dwarfish metal around here. No, I will take it down one more step, but I don't want to carry it around right now. Um, the matter gets more interesting in the later levels. I will take this box with me. You will see why in a second. So, this gecko didn't drop the uh, corpse. Um, I want to go down um, straight to the dwarfish mines. It's my barbarian because I feel like I can handle it. Okay, I killed a hobbit and I grabbed the dagger. So, are these the mines? Yeah, these are the mines. Okay, let's get up again. And I will drop the box here. Uh, and with the normal loot order L, I can put stuff in. And I want to leave behind the Dwarvish Maddock. Because I don't really need it. Killed the acid blob, which was a bad idea. Don't hit the acid blob in melee. It just happens when I don't see it, because it's a bit high behind, hidden behind walls. Uh, which is, by the way, the main uh, problem with vultures. Sometimes you don't see stuff. Okay, this was a total missed buy. Let's try the fencing gloves. Maybe we are lucky. And we will come back up for this splint mail. I should have bought in the first place, but well, we'll be able to get some money together. And I'm experienced level 4. So, um, the barbarian together with the Valkyrie and the knight and the samurai um, is one of the easiest characters to play if you are new to the game. It is because um, you don't have to worry about strength and damage and eating so much because these are mostly uh, fir uh, not first person as uh, these are mostly melee characters you don't have to put much effort into uh, which also can be a problem <laughs> because most of the times I don't uh, yeah this was cursed too I don't pay enough attention S so most times my barbarian dies or my Valkyrie is dying it's because I'm not looking enough. Okay. So my cat was just missed and I uh, was almost hit by darts so that come from the right side. Orcish helm. Thank you. Let's try out what the helm has to say. Okay, it's uncursed, so I wear it. It was X. So now I'm as armor class 6. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's nice. I love it when they turn themselves in. Okay, let's take this one with us. Legion is killed. Mute is killed. I'm beginning to feel hungry again. Killed the Newt. Killed the Gecko. So you see I'm running into foot problems right now because I only have one foot ration. So I might have to hurry this up a bit because I want to get into the mines as soon as possible. I can eat everything there. Okay, offer big A. Nothing happens. Okay, it's sold already. 
Let's eat the goblin. So, drop the orcish helmet. Something else. That is dagger. Or dagger. Or whatever you might call it. Oh, it's a blessed orcish helmet. So that's nice. Let's take off the old one. Let's grab the new one. And we are armor class 6. Always good. Okay, and then we name. We name the Uncursed Elven Dagger. And we name it Sting. If you might remember, uh, Uncursed Elven Dagger called Sting. Yeah, that's the same one. So, um, if you find a uh, Elvish Dagger or a Rune Dagger, which is basically the same thing. It's just an unidentified. You can name it Sting and it will have the same adventures like in the Hobbit movie. Like you can see orcs coming. I don't want to fight this thing. Um, you, you will be able to see orcs coming and it will do more damage against orcs. That's basically it. It's not a really good weapon, but if you're playing a weak character like the archaeologist, uh, it could save your life. Okay, let's eat something again. Uh, food ration. So I can now start to run into nutrition problems. We killed the floating eye. I just did that. Don't even ever hit the floating eyes. Mm. With a melee weapon, I only did it because I know I can kill it with the first swing because I have strength 17 and a battle axe, which is a two handed weapon. Yes, I want to sell this and I want to sell this and then I have 68 sock mates which isn't much all right let's enter the mines and I leave the cat behind because I don't want the cat to eat my corpses pink potion let's get down there as soon as possible oh nice another lamp so as a chaotic character in the mines, you have the problem that everything you meet will try to kill you. There are no friendlies and uh, mines. Sometimes you might meet a dwarf that is friendly, but gnomes and gnome lords and all of that is unfriendly and will try to kill you on sight. So you need to keep that in mind. On the other hand, that means that you will always have enough to eat. You hear a dwarf reading a scroll labeled Lap Gex Venzi. I don't know what it's doing, so I ran down. Don't know. So is he speeding up? Is he stronger? I don't know. Let's kill the dwarf. Let's kill the gnome. Yeah. Okay, this is going a lot better. Stackless, Gnome Corpse, Dwarfish Cloak, Pair of Iron Shoes, and a Food Ration. Very good. And the Black Gems, I'm taking all the gems with me, just in case I will need something. Okay, I ate a lot of stuff. I'm not satiated. So. I could eat more. Kill the cave spider. Eat the cave spider. Oh, rotten food. The world spins and goes dark. You're conscious again. And I will resume eating the cave spider. Just because I can. I'm a barbarian. I can eat everything. Kill this guy and kill his friend. And like I said, try to get oh a paper golem, is it? Yeah. Try to get your X skill as soon as possible up. Because your first artifact weapon is really badass. And even better if you are skilled with axes already. So I don't want to eat that corpse of the giant bat because it will stun me 
and being stunned can kill you very fast because you won't be able to aim your strikes anymore. Okay, he just dropped an Eclipse. Another gnome and I leveled up with Axis. Axis and double handed swords. That's the thing with the barbarian. You also could go for two handed weapons later. But. Um, oh, I'm already in my turn. And this seems to be a bone file. Because here we have the gold of Archibald. Archibald! We know each other. So let's eat the gnome. I can't because Archibald's ghost is right next to me. Archibald, killed by a wand. So many objects here. So I know there are still the orcs somewhere around. Okay, Archibald, I don't need your stuff other than all your food and the scroll and the books so I can sell them. So also this is a shitty version of Nine Town and there won't be an uh, altar I can use. Oh, the tinning kit. Nice, nice. So the best thing about finding Archibald's body is that I know that this is a touchstone. So I name it accordingly. So, by the way, this is a bone file. So, um, if you walk into a bone file, this means you find the dead character of an earlier playthrough. Um, the enemies that were around him will be exactly the same. And the mine town in this case will be the same. So I know what's up around here. Oh, a ghoul. I don't remember if our cat or her pet was still alive. Okay, that's a problem. That's just an lawful archer. As we well remember. Pine went. So we can't offer anything with our oh, priest attacking us and priests are really strong so don't want to risk it but what we want to do is check all the gear we just picked up from the mines and from uh, good old Archibald because um, things are most likely cursed when your dying character loses them so everything you find in a bone file on a grave you really want to check the pickaxe, I don't need that one anyway, I will leave it right here. I just hope that I will find something nice. Alright, so pick everything up that is not cursed. And all these things, and cursed daggers. Okay, I will take the food rations anyway, because I don't have much food. And I'm not. I will leave the scroll. And I will leave the spell books because if I remember right, we couldn't sell them anywhere. That's why we died. Cursed diamond ring that was ring of changing. Uh, safe saving from changing or something like that. The rent was something we don't need. Cursed blindfold is just bad. And cursed oil lamp. Okay, the kinnikit is bad. This is bad. So everything is bad. Oh damn it, the touchstone is cursed too. So it will take us a while to get that thing going again. And everything else here is cursed, so I don't need that. Okay, we want to take off stuff. Do we? No, we don't. We want to wear. We want to try on the... Okay, this is a Drush, the Dwarvish Cloak. Take off the F, wear again the other Dwarvish Cloak. Just to check if it's plus something, uh, but both are plus zero, so I will keep one. Uh, try on one of the shoes, plus zero, take off with the other shoe. Both are, oh, this is a plus four pair of iron shoes, we are armor plus zero. Wow, that's a nice find. We also have still have the ring mail, but 
Well, I think I will go straight up again and save this for the splint mail. And see if I can leave the cursed iron ring somewhere. Just so that we don't need it. But first off, I'm going to name it. Because I know that's a ring against shapeshifters or something. So I'm going to try to sell the stuff. And then I'm going back up again. Oh, hello, ghost. So Archibald's ghost is following us around. Ghosts aren't very strong. You can just kill them with a few hits. So there was nothing else around here. I don't want to run around with cursed items too long. Yeah, this was the same. Two cave spiders. Toe I don't think I want to buy anything. Can you sell you this ring? No, he's not interested. Oh, by the way, we have to test this grant. Okay, engrave minus. Wild. Engrave. No, not minus. Engrave star. Pine rant, and I want to write Alvarez. You write in the dust with an uncursed pine rant. The engraving on the floor vanishes. So this is either a uh, rant of um, invisibility, so I will be invisible, or this event of teleport, and I will just teleport around. I don't know exactly, but it's a good rant, nonetheless. So, because both of them are very good, at least for beginning levels. And another pine rant. So, I will keep this around. Well, let's go back up. I will eat the cursed rations, of course, first. So, um,. What I'm trying to do now, as soon as possible, I'm trying to find potions of water. I will drop them at an altar and turn them into blessed potions. Because with blessed potions, you can um, turn a, a cursed object to an uncursed object and to a blessed object, which is really helpful. Because with the uh, blessed touchstone, I can identify gems. With identify gems, I could make a lot of money. It's easy as that. Okay, I want to buy the splint mail pay. Yes, I want to drop the. No, I don't want to drop the ring mail right now. Because I have the feeling that it might be cursed. I stumbled on lots of cursed stuff. By the way, uh, if you wonder how to pay shopkeepers, press P. P is pay. Basically, most of the case uh, are just the beginning of words, like A for adjust, T for take off, that kind of stuff. Alright, let's go to the chair as soon as possible, because we are burned. I don't want to be burned. And then I will show you another trick. A thing that you shouldn't do on a normal playthrough. Oh, nice. I can take off my cloak because I'm wearing the cloak over the ring mail. And then take off the ring mail. There's a splint mail. And then there's a cloak again. One of these cloaks. Okay, I cast inches, dwarfish, and plus one splint mail. Armor class minus four. So this is a really good character I have right here. And I think I'm going to fuck it up right now, but I really want to show you something. So. Or can I? I don't can. I don't think I can. I know that's a bad idea. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't want to show you something right now. I'm taking it with me. And Gnome. My Gnome Zombie. Something I will never use. Oh, gorgeous snakes. I would like to have these downstairs. So I could offer them because they come in packs. And most of them are dropping bodies. They aren't poisonous, by the way. So feel free to kill all of them. They aren't really menaces to a uh, barbarian. These are. Do not underestimate ants. If you get ants in your pants, you run into problems, son. Oh, I want to sell the splint line, of course. Okay, Blasius is hungry, that's why he's attacking me. I'm throwing him the tribe ration. Tribe ration is basically dog food. If you eat it, um, you could get sick and it won't test any good. Okay, I want to drop multiple objects. I want to drop the shoes, the dwarf cloak, my ring mail. Yeah, that's it. I don't think he takes the ring. Yeah, let's try. Ring mail, 50. Shoes don't bring anything. Dwarfish cloaks always 25. So, always take the dwarfish cloaks with you. They bring you 25 Zork mitts and they wake no next to nothing. Oh, look what you have here. Black ooze. No, grey ooze. Still, pretty sweet find. Okay, I want to quiver the four daggers. That I'm going to lob daggers at this thing because I don't want my battles eggs to rust. Eat the grey corps. Ah, too bad. Don't got any instinct. Come with me, Blasius. We are going down the other route just to check because mine town isn't as great as I thought. An army of mains. And they killed my cat. Oh, that's sad. Alright, then I recorded 30 minutes and I found the next stone seekers. Okay, I will try check what this uranium rant is. And then I will end the part here and we see each other next time. So again, write down uranium rant. Then take the uranium rant and write Aberaf is it. The bugs on the floor slow down, so it's a uh, rent of slow monster. Alright then, so I guess that's it. And next time I play, I will start around here. So, see you in a bit.